Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. This is going to be a you versus them, you and your person, and what you need to know at this time right now. Today is January 22nd, it's the 122. Um, hopefully you all are having a good Sunday. Let's uh, get into the message now. Reverse the roles, your side, their side, okay? What fits um, you and your situation, okay? So let's see what's going on, Aries. You and your person, you versus them. What do you, what does Aries need to know about their person? What does Aries need to know about their person spirit right now? January 22nd, 2023. What does Aries need to know about their person, please? What does Aries need to know about their person? Okay. Well, something's shifted or something's changed here with your person, okay? You're noticing you're noticing something different about them, okay? What does Aries person need to know about Aries? What does Aries person need to know about Aries? Okay, there could be an ending here happening, okay? You know, someone could be a little heartbroken over this. Yeah, missing someone, okay? Whether uh, the distance is emotional or it's physical right now, uh, there's just um, a lack of being close here, okay? Let's see, holding on too tight. You could be holding on tight to your person or, um, you know, your connection here, you know, hoping for the best here, yeah. Okay, there could be a little bit of chaos happening. It's like, a, you know, a rocky road. You know, we have our ups and we have our downs right now, but something's different here. You're noticing um, about your person or they're noticing about you. Okay, and someone's worried about this ending um, or there has been an ending that's happened. And, you know, someone's trying to figure out, you know, how do I, how do we fix this, right? How do we clean this mess up? Because... You know, we have too many memories here to let go. All right, so that's what I'm picking up. That's what I'm feeling so far. Let's um, let's get some more information about this, okay? Tell me about this powerful energy shift between Aries and their person. Tell me about this uh, powerful energy shift here between Aries and their person. What does it have to do with, okay, what is this change here? What is this change? has to do with family okay or family situation you may have a family together and you want to keep the family together and there's worries and fears about this okay um let's have a conversation let's talk what's actually going on i you know um i need you to open up to me something's different something's changed here um so lots of communication okay trying to keep that window of communication open right so tell me about um the other side here, tell me about the other side here, the other person. I'm just going to say you and them, Aries, <laughs> okay? All right, yeah, it could have something to do with the main female, or you could be this main female here. Uh, definitely about partnerships. Now, there could be another main female here involved. Someone, uh, you know, is like a mediator in your connection, your relationship. Someone could be sick. Okay, they could not be doing too well, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually here. Okay, main female and main male. Alrighty. Let's see what else is going on. So we're dealing with a sickness or this could be making you sick. Uh, the situation just all together right now. Ooh. All right. I don't like that sickness there, you know. I really don't, but it's the energy, guys, that I'm picking up on. Somebody could have issues going on with their chest, or they could have anxiety issues that they're dealing with. Um, tell me what advice right now you have in this situation here for Aries and their person. Okay, it has to do with a higher calling. Okay, oh, I'm picking up the Lion King over here, so uh, you make connect with lion simba and nala could be significant um you have you have within you all the courage that you need let go of the past and reclaim your majesty okay you will find success and contentment with those by your side so someone's looking uh for support here aries either you are or your person especially you know in sickness uh, and in times of sickness and in times of health 
uh, whether that's good health and or bad health, make noble choice for your life and your tribe, okay? Your family here is your tribe. So something's changed here. Possibly some bad health has, you know, been found out. This causing, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of worries around either this main female or possibly a main male. Now let's see what's going on on the other side over here. So, wow. Someone being called to stand up, be the man, be the woman, you know, be the, the power of uh, strength, okay? The pillar of strength. So we have community here coming out with your person. Now, whether the community knows about this sickness here or you need to ask for help in the community, that's a possibility, or your person is asking for help in their community. Um, this could also be family getting community members involved. You're a powerful creator. You work bless. Uh, your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receive sweetness. You are the queen of abundance here. So I feel like this has to do with health, healthy relationship, healthy body, okay? Um, someone also uh, needs to work out or focus on physical fitness for some of you, all right? That's not going to be for everyone. You have to take what messages resonate for you. So let's see a little bit more on this, okay? Tell me about the character of you and your person right now. Tell me about the character spirit of Aries and their person right now. So um, October 16th could be significant, October 21st, we got February 10th, February 16th, February 21st, okay, Aquarius or uh, Libra um, Scorpio or Libra Scorpio cusp. All right, so we got a healer over here, and it fell there, so I'm going to leave it there, and we also have a uh, slave, so you have to pick which side of this, guys, you're on giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choice. So someone could feel like a slave to their family or they're just tired, they're exhausted um, because they have to pick up uh, a lot of the slack here, okay? Especially if there is, uh, your partner is sick right now, so you're feeling like something needs to change, um, something needs to give over here. Lots of healing energy, okay? Whether you're a healer or you're trying to help somebody heal, or uh, this is your person trying to help you heal passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing. Someone could be in a lot of pain right now and you're worried about this person, all right? You're worried about your lover, your friend, your family member, all right? Lots of healings. Okay, we got relying on luck rather than hard work. I feel like this has to do with not taking care of not taking care of yourself, money, body, mind, spirit, and soul, not taking care of your relationship, okay, um, not putting that as a priority, right, not putting in the work and the effort, and uh, the more that, you know, you neglect that, because I feel like there may be some type of neglection, whether that's on your part or that's a, on uh, your partner's part here, I feel like that has a lot to do with it. You know, it's one person taking the heavy load over here, feeling like they're, um, you know, the main caregiver of everybody, right? This is their calling and um, something needs to shift, like the weight needs to be taking off of either you, Aries, or your person right now, okay? Maybe asking the community to help out, you know, this is just too much for me to handle at this time. Um, is there any way someone could come in? And, you know, um, take some of these burdens off me, even though a lot of the times, Aries, you're not going to be the one that wants to ask. Sorry about the phone, guys. You're not going to be the one that wants to ask for help. You want to be the one to do things that yourself. I apologize, guys. I apologize. Um, you are not going to be the one. You don't want to be the one that asks for help. You like to take on you know, all the responsibilities and burdens yourself, even though, you know, if this is a sickness, it's not necessarily a burden, you know, you, um, it's just nature for you to reach out and, and, and take care of other people, especially when it comes to family or people close to you that you love and that you care for. All right, so um, let's get a little bit more into this here. Let's see, let's get a little bit more into this for my Aries. A little bit more. Now you could work in the medical field. Somebody could have like a home health aid or a 
a whole nurse here. Someone could be in the hospital right now and you're going back and forth. All right, so we got a new beginning that is coming in for you and your person now. Okay, with the volcano here, we've got some volatile energy. Somebody's angry, somebody's upset, uh, very frustrated. Okay, like I said, uh, also someone's dealing with anxiety, a lot of stress here, and it's uh, triggering either you or it's triggering your person or it's triggering someone in your family. Uh, you know, something has exploded or something's about ready to explode, but this is like, you know, Scorpio energy, it's a tower card. It's for a foundation to be able to fall down so you can rebuild from that. Okay, so whatever this new beginning is, it's I feel like it's a good thing uh, that's happening, even though uh, right now at this time, you may not be feeling that way. You may be frustrated, frustrated and, you know, feeling, um, you know, tied down or feeling stuck. All right, but you will be celebrating. So there could be news coming in. This new beginning is something to celebrate with about. And they're also saying here to be uh, to be vulnerable, okay? Open up. You know, your feelings are real and they're valid and they want you to express yourself. So um, I feel like this is this is really good for you, Aries, even though it's a it's a bad situation that you and your person have dealt with here. It's like being together, all right? Um, getting through getting through this. Now, some of you are set in separation at this time, like I said, um, whether it's physically or emotionally, it's time to open up to your emotions. It's time for your person to open up emotionally. All right, so we have industry. So somebody could be working in the industry over here, you or your person, uh, manufacturer, manufacturing. I also feel like uh, one or the other is more the, the money handler, okay, taking care of the finances. Uh, so there's a lot of burdens here on one or the other, all right? So we have uh, someone that could also do international business of some sort, all right? We're worried about some money. Maybe there's more going out right now than uh, what is coming in, and that could have something to do with health issues. It could have something to do with medical bills, uh, you know, just the finances in general, I feel like there's worries and fears around abandonment, okay? Or somebody could have abandonment issues, you know, whether there's a, a transition, this this change here um, is affecting, you know, somebody possibly, okay, I'm going to say it, um, leaving the physical realm or has left the phys physical, physical, okay, maybe something with pheasants here, um, leaving the physical realm. I feel like there is a an issue of feeling abandonment or feeling left behind. Don't leave don't leave me because you know I'm going through this. I'm I'm sick right now. I need some help. So um you love this person and you want to help them. It's very hard for you though cuz you feel like you have to do it because it's your family. You feel like you have to do it because it's your partner. And um you know, the sacrifices that you make for your person and family members and people that are close to you that you love. Because that's just who you are, Aries. Wow. Okay. So we've got military. Someone could be in the military here, have some type of military background, infantry, Navy, Air Force, uh, weapons development, or you could deal uh, with weapons, whether that's, um, you could be in the force of some sort, okay, if it's not military related, you could have a military background, um, you could also be in law enforcement, security, and, and that nature, okay, Ooh. I feel like you have a gift here, or somebody may want to give you a gift, or you may be giving someone a gift, I feel like you are gifted and you hold back your gifts because of others, sir. Um, you could feel guilty. I feel like I can't, I can't help myself right now. I can't worry and focus on myself right now because I have to help others. I have to be of service of my community, um, Aries, or your person's feeling this way. It's the service worker doing good for others, okay? Because you feel that, you know, it's your duty, it's your job, okay? 
<clears throat> so we have cha yeah charity benefactor uh yeah there could be a benefactor here especially you know if somebody's um okay transitioned or getting ready to transition and my sympathies and my condolences if that um, is happening to you or has happened to you wow patron is somebody being patronized a good samaritan beneficiary Oh, someone felt imprisoned, enslaved to do this, even though they didn't express this, or you're not expressing this, like you're holding that in. So I think being a, be open to release, yeah, a non-contagious illness. So whatever this uh, illness is that you're, this sickness um, or this health-related issue, it's it's not a contagious thing. But, um, you know, it does have the um, capability to be able to, uh, you know, cause an ending so we can allow something new to begin here um, as detrimental as detrimental as that sounds here. And yes, it could cause someone to, you know, go into um, an anger, an anger state, you know, feeling that loss, feeling of being alone. Wow. All right, let's go. Cards all want to fly out, Aries. So. Tell me about Aries and their person right now. Give me a little bit more information on what they're going through. Okay, so we've got the roots here, yeah. And there's a lot. There's somebody's in bed or somebody's on bed rest now. Family home. We got family here twice coming out. So um, your loved ones, where you find shelter. I also feel like this coming together, um, a lots of prayers here it is happening right now. Taking care of your inner world, focusing on that. And, um, you know, it's like feeling like you need to be a protector, all right, or your person's feeling that way. Now, if this illness here, this non-contagious illness could be something that has been passed down, you know, from the roots, okay? You had a grandmother that had the same type of health issue. You had a grandfather that had the same type of issue, you know, aunt, uncle, so on and so forth, right? Intimacy, Ooh. investments, like a benefactor or a beneficiary, someone leaving their assets behind. You know, it's like the final, uh, the final curtain, is, is the final call is what I'm saying, because we've got this higher calling um, out here. So I feel like this is like uh, is someone clearing up um, finalities before, you know, the uh, transition before. You know, things come to an end here, which this is very sad. All right, and this is going to be every Aries message, guys. It has to do with inheritance also. This intimate connection, I feel like, is you feeling the emotions of the loss of this connection or this person or this family, this loved one. So it's, okay. Someone could be 48. Someone could have been born in 84. Like things are escalating right now. Something about Aries and their person. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Now you could be finding out more information on this benefactor this beneficiary could be finding out more information on this this health this bad health this illness here um you know non-contagious you know what has happened what happened with uh your ancestors in the past here family members in the past that you know have had the same thing you know what kind of treatments are out there are available how can how can we find a cure for this how can we heal from this okay so this is putting a lot of stra strain and stress you know or has put a lot of strain and stress on you, Aries, or your uh, or your person. But 
it's like watch for burnout. It's just like caregiver burnout. All right, so we've got, they'll be back. Somebody wants to come back here or somebody may be wanting, um, you may be wanting to come back expect some type of communication that's what i feel like a letter a text um emails um, and that nature here about love or about somebody's health okay fate karma something ending so something can begin this has to do with a cycle someone ending a cycle whether this is their cycle um, of life that's ending or this new beginning you know is is required for um, to be able to heal and move forward, right? It's going to be different for all of you. So, wow. Aries and their person. What's on their mind right now? What's on Aries' mind and what's on Aries' person's mind? What's on Aries' mind right now, spirit? Sadness, grief, loss. Focusing too much on the past. In a dark space right now. Okay. Could have something to do with finances also. Um, this has to do with loyalty is what I'm hearing too. Growth, stability, loyalty around money, finances. Oh, wow. Okay. My cup stuck, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Could be a water sign. Could be an earth sign here. resting in peace some finding some peace especially where emotions and uh, an emotional loss of possibly finances here now if you're losing a par partner if you've lost a partner you know that's like it's only your income coming in it's not you and your person's income coming in so I feel like feeling that financial loss feeling that emotional loss um, feeling that abandonment right so some healing energy needs to take place, resting, getting uh, lots of rest here, paying attention to, uh, you know, uh, burnout, also lots of prayer or praying. Now, whether this is you, Aries, or this is your person, you will uh, know. I, I thought one flipped in there. One more. One more. Okay. This is, yeah, like experiencing a total loss total loss of finances, a total loss of stability, a total loss of uh, a partner here. Someone could have recently traveled to a cemetery. I heard that. Or they could be at a cemetery right now talking to a loved one. Okay. Or you're thinking about this, but this is like total and complete loss being out in the cold. We went from five pinnacles to one pinnacle. You had five. Or they had five. They had one. They had five cups. Three are knocked over. They don't see the two here that's behind them, guys. All right. Tell me about Aries person. Now reverse the roles. This may be your person. This energy right now as to what uh, what is on their mind and how they're feeling. I notice they... There is no passion here. There's no love. It's just about sorrow and loss. Okay, I do see happiness. This could also be like a enlightenment, you know, um, illumination. It's like you can't do anything about this situation or you feel like you can't do anything about this. It's like some type of reality check, okay? Uh, that a, a new beginning, a new cycle needs to happen over here. Now, this could also be your person saying or you saying that, you know, you're following your happiness. You want a new cycle. You want a new beginning, especially if you've already been through this. Now, some of you are currently going through this right now. Others of you, this may be happening here in the near future. All right. Of 
you are single, independent, self-sufficient, dedicated to happiness, you know, I've got to come out of this funk. I've got to, I've got to heal. I've got to be able to move forward. This could be making somebody, uh, you know, angry. It could also be charging forward though. There's a lot of anger here, but it has to do with loss, loss of finances, loss of a person, loss of a family, uh, feelings of, of being alone, you know, needing to stand up on your own two feet, being independent, um, you know, focusing on building, rebuilding your finances, also looking for uh, another job or, you know, extra work here, you know, to uh, cover the loss of what you've experienced, right? And, you know, there, there could be a little uh, built up anger, you know, someone about, uh, you know, about ready to explode, whether that's you or that's uh, your individual that you're dealing with, guys. I feel like somebody wants to charge forward. They want to, uh, you know, move ahead. There's celebrations, get-togethers, um, partying, some type of uh, collaboration. Okay, working together. Somebody wants to may work with you. Want to work with you, Aries, or you may want to work with somebody else. But it's like let's take these three cups over here that um, you know are making. Uh, airy sad, you know, that they're feeling this loss of, and let's lift them up, you know, like being raised up. So this could be like the community members coming in to offer help, you know. I know that you felt you felt depressed, you know, you've been in a heavy depressional state, or your person's in a heavy depressional state. But let's, you know, let's go out, let's go celebrate, you know. Um, we're gonna get you out of this funk kind of energy here, okay? So, um, you know, take that as it resonates for you. It's like uh, someone's coming in to help you balance out and, uh, you know, get control of your situation, get con back control of your life here, you know, from a, um, a place of stagnation or a place of just uh, be feeling stuck. So you can have this new beginning and, you know, you can bring justice back into your life here. Aww. I like this Aries. All right. So we have a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, any of those signs could be relevant here, okay? So let's get some tea. Uh, somebody's dissatisfied with their life right now. Let's see about you and your person here. Let's get a, a few tea on this, okay? Well, I'm trying not to make these videos long, guys, but, you know, it's a lot of information to give out. So I will do the best I can to give you what information that you need to hear. Now, if this doesn't resonate, this isn't your message. So don't force them to fit. All right, so we have good news, but I feel like maybe somebody's not, I feel like somebody's closed off to this good news or they're not getting this good news or it hasn't been uh, received yet because we have, they'll be back over here, expect to hear from them soon. It's like you haven't heard this good news yet, all right, or your person hasn't got this good news yet. Also feel like somebody could have selective hearing because of the fact that it's like, um, they feed into the negativity. It's like, you know, a lot of things have gone wrong in your life or a lot of things have gone wrong in your person's life. And you focus too more on, you know, um, what could happen instead of, instead of looking for the best result, you're looking at the worst case scenario. So pay attention to that guys. Yeah. A change for the better is coming. All right. Let's see over here in Ar Aries person. Okay. So we got you are highly thought of, all right? So somebody's thinking of you. Maybe if uh, I want to say family, there's a lot of trees here. Um, somebody could be, you know, be uh, confused a little bit about an ending. Yeah, someone's going out of your life or the end of a situation. So I've definitely had a lot of death and rebirth in in this reading, whether it is a lover or if it's a family, it's experienced a loss of finances. Um, this total, um, you know, uh, abandonment just itself here, being abandoned out in the cold, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move forward, um, you know, feeling that you've lost 
a lot, you know, whether uh, you have been that place that's always been the giver, always been the one to heal, always been the one to offer uh, your hand out to help others. They feel like, it, you know, it's trying to rebuild yourself up. It's your person trying to rebuild themselves out, come out of this bad situation, all right? All right, so we got heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Hidden secrets. So there could be secrets here. Somebody's trying to keep a secret or hold on to a secret. Okay, tied down and frustrated. Yeah, lots of frustration, lots of anger. You know, someone's about to explode over here. It's like trying to find the peace, trying to stay calm, trying to rebuild, you know, uh, wanting this new beginning, you know, working towards that, possibly looking for new employment and new job, uh, extra incomes. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aries, and your person. So let's see. Advice here. Whew. They're flying here. Look, a sudden change of luck is likely. Yeah, things are going to be looking up here, guys. You know, you've you've had some bad experiences, you know, maybe just in finances, maybe just in love, maybe in relationships, uh, partnerships, family, whatever that is for you. Um, it could also have to do with, you know, job loss. So, uh, you know, finding like-minded people that you can work with, okay? And it's like, uh, it's just a constant struggle. You're feeling down on your luck. It's like your luck is changing over here. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Okay. And you being on the uh, the world card being out here, you know, on the internet, on social media here. Uh, keep putting yourself out there. Vulnerability, guys, is amazing. So, um, you know, be open to that, right? We have romance here. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Okay, so if you are looking for romance, you're single right now, okay, looking for that partner, that one that compliments you, that one that works, uh, that can work well with you, that could um, also are independent, self-sufficient, able to, you know, take their own load without putting that burden on you or you putting a burden on them, right? So uh, you balance each other out while it looks like that's coming in. For some of you, this is just a spark of romance between you and your person that are already together. So we have the challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. You know, instead of coming in, rushing in, you know, um, in anger, um, words of communication, hurtful words here and saying, you know, this is challenging because, you know, of what you've been through, you know, health-related issues, romantic, um, platonic, family Okay, whatever that is, financial, uh, being at a complete loss, hoping for the better, but always thinking negatively. It's like, yes, this is challenging to be able to calm your temper so you don't explode like this volcano. All right, travel, long distance communication will open your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. There we go. Hello, some of you may be traveling, so... Uh, get prepared here because something good's coming in. The change is happening for the better, Aries. I hope these messages resonated for you and this helped. Um, if not, this message wasn't meant for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Good luck to you, Aries. I wish you the best. Take care.